There in the center of your screen, Dragon Capsule awaiting for the fast boats to approach and begin the rigging process. And there on the left-hand side of your screen, we can see that second fast boat come into view. Dragon SpaceX, we are go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personal, personnel aside, alongside in just under a minute. Dragon copy, thank you. All right, so they're starting to move in. As Kate just said, that first boat's going to go in, sniff around the capsule for any traces of hypergalls. The second one's going to start rounding up the parachutes, uh, which we're getting some really cool views from the WV-57 still flying overhead. Uh, looking down, you can see the parachutes in the water, and the second boat start to gather them up. Like I said, we are expecting to lift Dragon onto the GO Navigator recovery ship in about 21 minutes. And then in 28 minutes, we will be opening that hatch and beginning crew egress, also known as exit. And we did hear the rigging is pretty much complete. so. Uh, right as they arrive there at the capsule, the main recovery vessel will be able to begin uh, getting it up out of the water. So we are being advised that uh, the recovery team is radioing out to the vessels in the water near Crew Dragon to vacate the area uh, so that we're able to extract Bob and Doug safely. Uh, you know, also for the safety of those folks in the area as well, not just Bob and Doug. Yeah, this is, this is obviously a dynamic operation. One of the first things we do is make sure there aren't essentially poisonous fumes around the capsule. So uh, something like this just really can endanger the whole thing, endanger the crew members and endanger themselves. So uh, the SpaceX team is moving in to try and get them away so they can safely recover the Dragon capsule and get Bob and Doug on deck and safely inside the their medical quarters. So we can see them, they're getting a lot closer. Uh, we expect uh, about 10 minutes or so until they should be in position. Uh, all the rigging has been affixed on the Dragon capsule. And once they arrive, they'll be able to use that hydraulic lift to get Dragon up and out of the water. And at this point, the communication we're getting with Dragon is actually being routed through the boat itself at this point. So there we can see the lift. Dragon is out of the water. Yeah, so they're now. The A-frame is going to start swinging it back. And it's bound right for that nest at the bottom of your screen. So there we're getting a better shot of all the points in which Dragon is tethered to the hydraulic lift, ensuring that it isn't swinging freely. And there we can see Dragon Endeavor being carefully set down into the recovery nest on top of Go Navigator. Dragon uh, SpaceX, welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and preparing to translate you to the egress platform. And there we see Dragon moving forward. Look at that. Smooth as a Tesla, I would say. <laughs> It's really interesting to see those scorching marks uh, now that we get a really nice up close detail shot of Dragon. So again, the SpaceX engineers detecting uh, levels of NTO. It's dinitrogen tetraoxide. It's one of the hypergolic fuels used inside the Dragon spacecraft. Um, levels higher than they would like. Um, so they're essentially doing a purge to help uh, dissipate any vapors in and around the service section where those fuel tanks reside in the Dragon capsule. We're expecting that to take within the next five minutes or so. Uh, we were still expecting the crew out inside of an hour. So still on the timeline or a few minutes ahead. 
and we should be seeing Bob and Doug, uh, once we see those uh, levels continue to drop around the capsule, they'll begin to step through the hatch opening process once again. Go for SpaceX. Here we have our first view of yeah, Doug Hurley. I just would like to sort of reiterate what Bob said and add uh, my thanks to uh, everybody over the last several years that's either worked in Hawthorne, McGregor, or down at uh, Kennedy Space Center. Anybody who's touched Endeavor, uh, you should take a moment to just cherish this day, especially given all the things that have happened this year. Uh, we certainly can't thank you enough. Our families can't thank you enough. And, uh, just proud to be a small part of this whole effort to get the, the company people to and from the space station. They can celebrate with each other. See you soon. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully in person. Thanks so much, Doug, and you're welcome. And, and thank you so much for those kind words. And we all wish you a safe journey home and a happy reunion with your family soon. And we look forward to seeing you in person as well. All right, so they're getting set up, and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule. And it looks like we've got him out. We've got him seated. And there we go, another thumbs up. We've got some applause here. And as you can see, Mission Control is standing <laughs> ovation for a job well done all around.